What I have learned and what I've come to believe is God does not send fear and trauma upon us because he wants us to make decisions. God very much operates emotionally, don't get me wrong, but people often believe that because you have anxiety about something, there's something wrong with that decision. Woo! Okay. It is fall, which means I have my fall candles out and I'm having a great time. I feel like you gotta have some apple scented candles in the fall because what are you doing if you're not? Like, it's probably the best candle you can get and it's like only acceptable in the fall. I feel like these fall scents have also helped me kind of relax, which is a big theme for the fall, I think. I think there's a lot of spiritual warfare that happens in the fall Definitely with Ethan and I <laughs> recently, we've been feeling it. And that brings me to today's topic, which is anxiety. And before I go any further, I'd like to invite you to subscribe and join the group here. And also, if you give this video a like, that would be fun. Just let me know what you think. Um, leave a comment as well. I love reading the comments. I love responding to comments. So I will be sure to read your comment if you leave it for me, whether it's nice or not. <laughs> I've recently had a lot of anxiety. I feel like who hasn't, you know, especially with the election coming up and the way the economy is, there's a lot of reasons to be anxious. If you're trying to buy a house and you're thinking this is not going to happen ever because of how expensive things are. Indecision causes anxiety. That's a lot of the reason that I have anxiety. I don't really get anxious about a lot of things. But anywhere where I have to make a decision and I don't know what the perfect result is, um, I tend to get anxious over that. So I feel like working through this, I have not been perfect with it, but I've picked up a lot of really helpful tips. And I wanted to share that today because it's been a while since I jumped on here and there's been reasons. <laughs> We're hopefully going to have a solution for that. I'll be sharing some prayer tips as well in this video, which are very helpful and probably things that you haven't heard before, but are biblical. It's really good to reflect on anxious times in your past and how God has brought you through them. When I went through a really hard breakup a few years ago, I had horrible anxiety before. And when I finally did it, there was a lot of relief, but I also had a lot of grief after. And I think sometimes our anxiety tells us things, but what I have learned and what I've come to believe is God does not send fear and trauma upon us because he wants us to make decisions. God very much operates emotionally, don't get me wrong, but people often believe that because you have anxiety about something, there's something wrong with that decision or with that situation and we're tempted to just jump out and be like, well, God is giving me anxiety because I'm not supposed to go through this. It says in the Bible, God does not give us a spirit of fear. And that's why I think when people make that argument, like, sure, like, maybe I'm wrong, maybe, but like, that's what the Bible says. And that's what I've led to believe is that God is not here to like, kind of like squeeze your head and make you crazy because he wants you to do something else. It just doesn't represent God's character from what I've read from the Bible. God is not here to give us a spirit of fear. He's not here to bring us down. He does bring us through difficult periods where we are being tested. That is a biblical concept, but I don't believe he gives us that feeling of anxiety. I believe he may allow it to happen for many reasons, but I don't believe it's from him as a way to push you to a certain decision. If you think about Jesus' life, it was anything but just peaceful and joyous. Jesus had anxiety. Definitely right before he died, he was sweating, sweating blood. Like that is the ultimate anxiety that you can have. But like God was not trying to have Jesus not get crucified. It was just a reaction to the situation. And he did have anxiety in his life, but none of that anxiety made him change his decision making to a different direction. And that kind of leads me into my topic about praying over decision making, if that's where your anxiety is and praying just over anxiety in general. If you feel like you're trying to make a decision and it's causing a lot of stress and anxiety, you can pray actively and God will be able to show you like 
maybe what you should do because you know god can see into the future <laughs> more than we can and there is great value to just using your logic versus your emotions i i thank ethan for that every day like i get very emotional in my decision making i try to like base things off of what i'm feeling but ethan has kind of shown to me and ministered to me and said you don't always have to act on your emotions like like a loose cannon. You can see and think logically about things and make decisions and your emotions will follow. What we can do to pray over situations is we can ask God to close and open doors. There's a thing with asking God to close doors where he will do it and you may not like that. So if we're asking him like, oh God, please close this door because I don't know if this is the right decision. Close this door if this is a wrong decision for me. He may close the door before you're ready for it to be closed. So when you are praying about closing doors, you need to pray with some wisdom and a little bit of just like awareness because a lot of times we like fire up prayers to God and we don't realize like he can take our prayers as literally as he wants to and we can't complain if our prayers get answered literally. It's our fault for not like thinking through our prayers a little more. I like to pray if God would open doors, if there's like, especially a bad situation I'm in, and he always like provides a way out. I'm pretty sure that I've touched on everything and I don't want to make this a long video anyway because what I've shared with you today is pretty much all you need to know. It's very simplistic, it's very straightforward, but it's like perfect for what we need like to apply because especially when you're anxious, there's not like a lot of time to like go through a bunch of steps. It's literally just praying and trusting God to take care of your anxiety. Right now I'm very stressed because I am boarding my horse at a private farm and I don't know how to read the owner of the farm because everything has been great until this month. This lady is almost like trying to make me leave like this week and I don't have anywhere for him. And so that's why I've been stressed lately is like there's either going to be a very bad financial situation or a very far situation that's affordable and I don't have time to really find the perfect barn for my horse. I'm just trusting God and we're visiting farms. We're going to let God show us the right way out and we are kind of stuck with a horse. You can't really drop a horse off at like pet rehoming place because it's a horse. So we're kind of stuck with him, which is fine. I love him, but um, we kind of have to be very like fast on this and I've definitely just prayed God would open doors for me and I feel like he has and we're looking at a barn tonight that may be a good option. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!